Tonight, a support system is growing in plantation for everyone affected by Saturday's huge explosion, and the support comes even in the smallest of ways. Meanwhile, the scene of the blast is still very much off limits. CBS 4's Carrie Cott is live in plantation with an update. Carrie. Well, Francis, a spokesperson for the Plantation Fire Department tells us that the investigation into what happened here will be lengthy and painstaking. They want to get it right. And while that goes on, there are a number of people, hundreds maybe, dealing with the fallout from the explosion, the loss of a job, the loss of a business, or the loss of peace of mind. And tonight, a number of them gathered for support. The fallout from Saturday's explosion at a plantation strip mall is weighing heavily on many of those who lost work, a business, or simply thought they were witnessing an attack when a vacant pizzeria exploded. I thought it was a, a terrorist attack. Abby Bryan was working out at the LA Fitness in the strip mall when a suspected gas leak caused the explosion. I saw when the windows kind of like exploded and the ceiling started falling down. It was like it was like something out of a movie. She and others rushed to safety. But days later, Abby is struggling with what she saw and how she feels. That's why she came to a crisis intervention meeting at Central Park and Plantation Tuesday night. I wake up in the morning like, OK, I'm going to get up and it's going to be OK. But I haven't been able to get there yet. We're told dozens attended the emotional meeting and shared similar stories. We are grateful to be alive. But it's nightmare now. We want to go work out again, but we're just, you know, I just feel really weird about it. Terry Dottilio said she and her husband suffered injuries when the explosion happened and they were lifting weight. She said the meeting was helpful because they learned others are also reliving those moments. It was nice to talk to people today that are feeling the same way. It's oh. tragic. It's tragic. Siobhan Edwards is president of the Greater Plantation Chamber of Commerce. She said right after the explosion, she sent emails to find employers who would hire some of the dozens of people left jobless by the explosion. As soon as those emails hit, we had calls on my cell phone. Renaissance hotel manager, first person called, I've got jobs, send them to me. It was just amazing to watch the trickle down effect of people saying, send them over to me, we'll find something, we'll make something for them. Edward said there are malls and shopping plazas offering space and incentives for businesses to move there, even temporarily. That's something business owners are struggling with, like Hemi Patel, whose family owns a dry cleaning business that was damaged. That's, that's my family's bread and butter. Like, where do we go from here? Very difficult questions. The Chamber of Commerce here in Plantation showed us a list of employers who are willing to hire people who have been affected by this explosion, who've lost their jobs. If you need that information, contact the Greater Plantation Chamber of Commerce. Now, we are told that one person remains hospitalized after the explosion. That person is expected to recover. Live in Plantation, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News Tonight.